North Korea's capital, Pyongyang, is gearing up for massive celebrations to mark the 100th anniversary of the birth of its founding leader, Kim Il-sung. Official state media say the April 15th festivities will be unprecedented in scale, heralding North Korea's rise as a powerful and prosperous nation. Hundreds of people have gathered in Kim Il-sung Square to rehearse for the anniversary ceremony. Even the Juche Tower, which has been an unfinished eyesore on Pyongyang's skyline for decades, has gotten a facelift. North Korea's official Communist Party newspaper, Rodong Sinmun, called this an unprecedented happy occasion. It also urged the nation to rally behind its young new leader, Kim Il-sung's grandson, Kim Jong-un. As part of the centenary celebrations, North Korea is preparing to launch a satellite. The United States and other nations have sharply criticized the launch. They say it's a disguised missile launch that violates United Nations resolutions. North Korea suffered devastating famines in the 1990s and still grapples with severe food shortages. Industry also is hard hit by shortages of power and raw materials. There is nothing convincing by way of a specific policy or particular achievements now that translates into greater confidence among uh, general North Koreans in terms of uh, their, their particular well-being going forward. Uh, we may see a lot of events and a lot of different types of announcements uh, in the year where the leadership will unveil a strong and prosperous uh, nation. Uh, but right now, I think there's a lot of uncertainty and doubt. The costs of the rocket launch and other celebratory events are estimated at nearly $3 billion, enough to feed most of North Korea's population for a year.